<laughs> this vlog has become like a diary because I um I told my hotel that I would check out at uh, do a late checkout today. But when I woke up this morning, some guy that I met last night messaged me and told me that he heard public transportation had stopped. Cha, I started freaking out. It's now uh 10:38. I'm packed and I was supposed to leave until 2 p.m. Cha, why I have to pay why my um, hotel is charging me 300 RMB to find a private taxi to bring me to the airport. And I decided to go to the airport early even though my flight is not until 10 p.m. tonight. I just hope the flight is going to stay on time and I get to Shenzhen and I hope when I get to Shenzhen I don't have any problem. I'm just sick of everything that's going on. China is so fucking annoying, annoying. Now there's a possibility I pay for this taxi to go to the airport and then I, there's a possibility I still cannot fucking leave. Which means I would have to extend my time here, pay for more money to stay in hotels, but yet I can't do anything because me staying, extending my stay is, is not the problem. It's the fact that I would, have, I would be stuck here not just being inside a fucking room. Anyways, I'm so over this. So guys my taxi came but what happened before this taxi came is that i found out that my flight to shenzhen was cancelled but my friend that i met told me take the taxi to the sanya railway station which is where i'm heading and go to this city called haiku or haiku or Haiku, whatever it's pronounced i kept saying the wrong name in the video so anyways i got to the railway station on, in haiku and this is the hotel that i ended up finding which is across street so i got to heiku and just as i, ent I exited the heiku railway station i booked a hotel that was close to here booked the hotel took me a while to find it when i found it got there the people told me i have to do another covid test even though i did a covid test but i did it in sanya they said you have to do the test here so now I have to walk back to the damn railway station to do the test. Ciao. And it's raining. You see the rain? Right now my phone screen is wet. But where was I? Was it here? I don't remember where it was. I don't know if it's this one or was it this one? Yeah. So now I have to go do the COVID test because they won't allow me into the hospital. Not the hospital ship into the hotel without it so yay me oh i not let don't let me don't get me started on how many times my new flight got cancelled so now i'm watching this other flight that i just booked to see if it will get cancelled too anyways wish me luck luck bye Okay, after i got settled in my hotel i went to this mall to meet up with a friend who's from she's from ukraine we had dinner dinner was delicious then the next morning i had this bright idea to go to the port and try to leave by ship but to to get to the port you have to basically you have to go to the other side and then it was a lot anyway so i got this taxi to bring me to the port when i got to the port ciao i could not leave i was so upset so then i booked um into this hostel it wasn't the best but it was cheap i did not like the bathroom at, at all it's a wet bathroom but it's the fact that it's so disgusting i did not like it 
but the entire area overall was good it's very foreigner friendly um a lot of foreigners go there and the um people the chinese there they can speak english um so it's a nice um area well recommended and by foreigners and stuff like that my first night at the hostel and i'm having chinese food because child i'm trying to save save because i'm stuck in this island so but this is it's supposed to be shrimp chow fan and some egg about two of them but yeah about chinese food Psh, yeah, yeah. today is the what is it is it a fourth day being in um, this new city? And I think it's been two days since I've actually documented anything. Um, I'm currently contemplating changing where I'm staying. I have five more nights in the city before I can leave. And I hate the bathroom. I hate it so much. It's now 2.45 and I haven't even showered all day. Fucking annoyed. I don't like the bathroom and I don't want to shower in it anymore. So I'm walking to this hotel where I'm as, whereas I'm staying at a hostel, I'm going to a hotel to see if they will accept me and then I have to cancel my bookings for the hostel. So yeah. Okay, so I'm in my new room. It's smaller but nicer. Smaller but nicer. The bathroom is much better for me because that other one was so gross. Anyways, I've kind of quickly put some stuff out because I need to shower. But that's it. So that's the room. It's a queen bed. So I just changed room because the other room, the air conditioner was leaking and I was not trying to be uncomfortable. So this one's the same type of bathroom. Ignore the hanger, which I stole. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one is nicer and it's similar price to the hostel. But this is a hotel and it's much nicer. The bed is even more, looks more comfortable. So yeah, that's the new space. <laughs> Ciao. I'm friggin' stuck in, ignore my bursaries. But anyways, I'm friggin' stuck in this, on this island that I'm on. So I came here for vacation. Um, I don't want to be explaining over and over, but you have to watch all the vlogs. So anyways, I'm freaking stuck at the moment. Um, so because they had some new cases in Sanya, which I, which were, which is where I was vacationing. Um, they had stopped transportation and then I, I don't know what the day when I was supposed to fly out my my flight is a late flight and i've said this many times but in the morning of that day i don't know why but i felt like oh i need to get to the airport because everything was acting was just it just seems you know like awkward so i remember in the morning this guy i met messaged me and he's like he heard that all the tran uh, public transportation had stopped and he's like he tried to book a DD and he was not able to go because I want to put this there. He was not able to go because they canceled all the public transportation. So I'm like, I'm trying not to freak out. And yeah, so at by this time I was already getting ready to go to the airport, even though I didn't know what was going on. So then this next girl that I met um she she said she called me and she's like something happened and i need to talk to you and th by this time she has never called me before because we just met and she's she's telling me that she was trying to leave and they told her no taxi and all these things and so no taxi and so she wasn't able well they were telling her she couldn't leave the hotel so 
she was basically panicking and she was just trying to update me because of how she felt she wanted me to know what was happening and she told me that the hotel was arranging private um cars for people who need to go to the airport or wherever they need to go um but the prices you know are very high and she was telling me even though my flight is 10 p.m that night you should probably tell them now so they can arrange for you and blah 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 so um i as i said i was trying i was not trying not to panic because panicking doesn't get me anywhere so i was very calm and because the guy already told me what he told me i already knew you know like i kind of already had an idea what was going on so so yeah when she said it i i, I let her finish. i let her finish and then i told her someone had said it to me before and she said she wished she knew anyways so when i finally got downstairs the hotel i said okay let me check out tell the receptionist to book me to get me a, a taxi because me trying to book it myself they were all getting cancelled uh so she called a private car and when they came the price was very high 200 because um it's usually it's well oh no i forgot to tell yeah so she called the dd i don't know i made a mistake she called the t i told her to call a taxi for me to go to the airport because i have a flight in the night and then while i was waiting for the taxi to come i realized that my flight got cancelled and immediately i wanted to like faint i didn't know so i got the message that the flight was cancelled and immediately i wanted to faint i was like what the hell i didn't know what to do so that same girl that called me she said go to heku which is the capital of sanya so if you don't know sanya is an island it's yeah so she said go to heku you'll be fine there so i told the lady that's booking the taxi for me i'm going to the train station instead instead so she, the taxi is on its way and while i'm there this chinese guy was trying to get was trying to talk to me i didn't know what he was saying he was there with his son um but apparently what happened is he's trying to rush to the train the train station as well so when the ladies uh call when the lady called a taxi for me he's trying to ask if he could join in my taxi because it was just me traveling so i was like timbudong timbudong which means i do not understand um but so anyway. when the taxi came uh he went to the driver or he said it to the receptionist again and then the receptionist who speaks english came to me and she said well they're in he's in a rush and he's trying to get to the, the station um if he could join so i said fine because now the price will be split so i wouldn't pay the 200 now i'll pay 100 he will pay half so i was like okay and i mean I, they probably wouldn't have done it for me because some chinese are very they're not very helpful to foreigners but i was like for that so yeah so we went to the train station and I quickly, I literally bought my ticket for the train right at the gate. And I came to Heku. As soon as I got to Heku, I heard that they stopped the train from Sanya to Heku. So I'm guessing the reason why they stopped the trains from Sanya to Heku is because they know that everyone is trying to leave. So anyways, when I got to Heku it was just me i saw some other foreigners yes but it's it's just i came to sanya by myself i'm not here with any friends so i'm on my own basically you see this big old damn pimple so i booked a hotel across the street from the train station because i'm thinking it'd be easier for me to get to the airport if i could just confirm my freaking flight by the way i forgot to mention when i got to, on the train to head to heku here i kept booking flights and they kept getting cancelled i i booked three flights and they all kept getting cancelled and then when i was on my fourth it just cancelled um was it yesterday cancelled so yeah then <laughs> yo this story is so long anyway so then i booked the hotel i booked for only one night even though i didn't know what i was doing or how because i kept booking booking flights i booked trains and everything was getting canceled so then i stayed the night at this hotel across the street from the train station 
then this morning which is yeah this morning i was lying down and i'm thinking oh someone said maybe you can try and book a shared taxi so i booked the taxi and didn't realize that it was booked from a port um which i have to get to so that in itself was a whole mess because child i needed to get to the port take a ship go to the other side of the port and then i could take the taxi but i didn't know that of course so then i spent almost let's say two hours with the receptionist trying to help me to figure out this whole thing so i had to have my chinese friend on the phone talking to the receptionist while my chinese friend is asking me questions and telling me what he said blah 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 at the same time the receptionist is talking to the taxi driver because he called asking certain question and blah 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 which i cannot answer because i'm not fluent in chinese i only know to say a few things so that was a task in itself then i realized i had to cancel that <sighs> i had to cancel that booking because it didn't make sense because i wasn't at a port so then now the receptionist helped me to get a taxi to the port that is on my side and cha was that a task anyways the taxi came and i went to the port now when i went to the port i might put this on the screen but anyways i don't think it will be helpful to anybody but when i went to the port i did i went to the port and i showed him all my code because you have to have 24 hour code but i realized that it says once you went to sanya past through sanya you're not allowed to leave hey cool so even though in hey cool now there isn't a lockdown but sonia has a lockdown so if i if i had stayed in sonia i would have been in lockdown meaning i cannot go outside unless i'm doing tests i couldn't buy anything or whatever but in eku there's no lockdown but because i passed through sonia i'm not allowed to leave the island until about seven days basically that's what i found out today so the people will not allow me to buy a ticket to go ciao i stood out i had to turn back leave that area and i turned and i st i stand outside the whole time i stood outside for hours trying to figure out what to do and so someone suggested going to a cheaper place because if i'm going to be stuck here for seven more days it doesn't make sense to pay for those expensive hotels and so they recommended this hostel the cost is 120 well it's 120 for the room that i chose so there are cheaper rooms but i didn't want to make myself uncomfortable because it's already an uncomfortable situation so i chose the room that i think would be best for me so yeah it says 120 and i only book for one day because i want to see what it's like first so tomorrow i have to book for more days but i'm still watching to see what happens so yeah that's my story thus far so yeah surprisingly i'm very calm but yeah that's my story yeah so now i'm in the hostel i'm a bit settled i just took a shower you can see i talk about how my face is breaking up but anyways um i'm doing laundry because i had a lot of dirty clothes from staying in sonia but i'm doing laundry now i'm waiting on that to dry and but the hostel is pretty cool and it's foreigner friendly it's called banana i think banana international hostel anyways i'll put the name but yeah i'll definitely come back to this here this area to this place um it's owned by a foreigner it i think um so i would definitely recommend it so yeah the room is not the Leno is not hotel quality but it's definitely good so yeah pray for me y'all i'm 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 surprisingly calm but i figured why what what would what would it, what would be the point of me being you know me? hey y'all so today is my second day in this hostel that i'm now staying so I came here because it's cheaper and since I'm going to be stuck in this place, I might as well pay cheaper. Anyways, as to my mood, 
I'm very annoyed because there are some requirements in order to leave the island. And so the requirements are we must do seven days. And it's not just seven days. You have to test on the first, second, third, fifth, and seventh day. You have to have those tests. And um, they have to assess and decide if it's okay for you to leave. So, yeah. So, something happened today. I did a test yesterday. I've been doing my daily test. But I did the test yesterday. And for whatever reason, it was not reflecting on my, my app. So, I was a bit worried. And um, I tried getting the receptionist at my hostel to help me. Because I wanted to see if it's me not having the correct information in my app and so on so i uh, she tried to assist me and she told me not to worry blah 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 okay fine then now i had to find um another place to test today again because i have to test daily i could not find one for whatever reason the area that i tested the day before they were no longer testing there it's because it's not an actual uh what i say it's not it's not a place it was just a post they made meaning they just created a an area where people could go test so it wasn't a it wasn't a hospital so i couldn't find a place to test this today um i was just walking walking there was no area and i'm not used to that because in my city shenzhen you can find um test sites easily there are so many you know but in this city i guess they don't have a lot and it, because yesterday was actually a mass testing that's that's why they had different areas to test more areas to test but today because the mass testing is over you have to go to the hospital and i didn't know that so yeah it took me a while and then i met this guy who's nigerian and he was the one that assisted me in finding the hospital um to do the tests when i did find the hospital oh my god i could not register on the app it was just a whole mess so eventually i was able to do it and um yeah so i'm not in the best of mood so yeah not in the best of mood but i'm trying to stay calm um yo i have to be distracting myself yesterday i don't want to go outside so even though the area that i am staying in the city i'm staying in it is not on lockdown the problem is once you have passed through sanya which is on lockdown at the moment you are not allowed to leave uh, until after seven days that's where the problem is so in this um city that i'm in i'm free to go anywhere i want to go i'm free to do that i just don't want to my vibes is my me my mental state I don't know, I just feel like I didn't come all the way to be worried about being tested and all these um, madness. So that's why I was a bit upset. I'm a bit annoyed today. But anyways, anyways, I'm still thankful. Um, finally, in the evening, the result from yesterday's test finally showed on my app. And I thought that was so weird because that's more than 24 hours after I took the test. So that had me worried because if I didn't get that result, then I would have to start my seven days all over. My seven days of testing all over. So that's why it made me annoyed. So, and the test that I did today, I had to pay to do it. Normally tests are free, but when you do it at the hospital, you have to pay. Which is fine because it's not very expensive, but you know. I have to do for seven days so anyways other than that i'm trying to stay calm i've been watching movies i'm paying my bills just the same and i told the nigerian guy i was like what if i didn't have have money to extend my vacation i would have been so pissed you know but thank god that i do and i'm okay and i'm eating so i wanna go <laughs> home <laughs> i wanna go Yo, I wish I was on TikTok to play this song because why the hell I took myself to go on vacation and now I'm dead well stuck. <laughs> it's so funny. Sad but funny. I wanna go home. I wanna go home. <laughs> okay.
okay so let me give a bit of update i just what you have seen so um hoping i will sleep better in this room um the hostel um the bed was the sleeping my sleeping was not bad but the ac was not the best why is it so loud the ac was not the best and the bathroom i was so bothered by the bathroom i was so i don't know why i stayed that long but it's almost like i was thinking okay you don't have a choice just deal with it but i do have a choice so um someone recommended this place to me and it's like five minutes or six minutes walk from the where i was came and i saw the room and i'm like this is much better it's smaller yes but it's cleaner and the bathroom is nicer so i just moved so yeah. so yeah five more days in this bitch um so let's do this let's do this as chinese like to say since the pandemic um, they like to say whatever city like now Sanya is going through their thing they will say Sanya refuel anyway so let's do this I'm I'm mentally okay but I just want to go home by the way today is Wednesday and today oh today is Wednesday August 10 and today is when I was supposed to actually start working again so it's kind of weird because I was saying to someone that I really didn't want to go back to work so quickly because initially when I was um, renewing my um, job, I had told them that I need breaks between my contract. And I remember thinking like I need like a month off. So initially I wanted a month off from work. But how the, how the jobs, especially training centers, how they are set up here, they don't care if you're tired but um what happened is my principal arranged for me to only have two weeks off and uh, i was like anyways so i took it because yeah so this happening to me now where i'm stuck it's kind of, i'm just looking at a positive i'm thinking well maybe the lord is saying yo girl you needed that rest and even though i'm going to not i'm not going to be paid because um i'm not going to work that's fine this that is definitely fine with me because mentally i was drained the job is so demanding and i need to rest by the way my skin is kind of clearing up plus i was burned i was so burnt but anyways it's coming back it's not fully there but it's i guess because i'm not really out in the sun I, i've been actually resting and uh, yeah these few days i haven't been documenting anything really um there's nothing to show because i'm not really doing anything i don't feel like doing anything i just feel like resting so these um these vlogs or this vlog is basically just gonna be me talking about my mental state or documenting my mental state as i wait for the go ahead from the government here in sun in hainan island say i can go home so yeah i hope you understand anyways that's it for today tomorrow maybe i'll say something else mm -hmm.